Welcome to the Wisdom Inspired Talk podcast. Thank you for joining me today. I am Yomi Akipelu, your wisdom coach, speaker, teacher, and author of Blow the Cup of Your Capability and other books. In this podcast, we will learn from the wisdom of wise men and women from ancient and contemporary times. We will glean wisdom from books, biographies, teachings, quotes, and sayings of sages through the ages. So let's dive right in. Today, we'll be speaking about opportunity. Let's start with a quote and a story. Opportunity is a proud goddess who wastes no time with those who are unprepared, says George Clason in The Richest Man in Babylon. Now for the story. Two men went fishing. One was an experienced fisherman, the other wasn't. Every time the experienced fisherman caught a big fish, he put it in his ice chest to keep it fresh. Whenever the inexperienced fisherman caught a big fish, he threw it back in the water. The experienced fisherman watched this go on all day and finally got tired of seeing this man waste good fish. Why do you keep throwing back all the big fish you catch? He asked. The inexperienced fisherman replied, I have only a small frying pan. We laugh at that fisherman who couldn't figure out that all he needed was a bigger frying pan or cut the fish into smaller steaks. Yet, sometimes, like that fisherman, we shrink back or throw away big opportunities and dreams because we just can't think beyond our small frying pan. Studies have shown that people who are immigrants in the United States are three to four times more likely to become millionaires than those born in America. Why is that? It's because the belief that America is a land of opportunity, a place where dreams come true, has been ingrained in their minds. As a result, they go to the United States with the singular focus of finding opportunities that will bring success. And they find it. Brendan Butchard said, When you knock on the door of opportunity, do not be surprised that it is work who answers. Occasionally, opportunity will drop in your lap. But only if you have your lap where opportunities drop. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. They die if neglected. When an opportunity appears, it's usually too late to prepare. Opportunity passes by the unprepared. Opportunity doesn't always knock. Sometimes it stands by, waiting to be recognized. We're surrounded by overwhelming opportunities. There are opportunities lying latent everywhere, waiting for the perceptive eye to discover them. Opportunities are like stars, They are constantly shining, but we usually don't see them until the darkness pervades. The door of opportunity will not open unless we push. We get only those things for which we hunt or strive and for which we are willing to make sacrifices. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. The saying, we either venture or vegetate, said a wise man. Security and opportunity are total strangers. Earl Nightingale said, Whenever there is danger, there lurks opportunity. Wherever there is opportunity, there lurks danger. The two are inseparable. They go together. This year's breakthrough was last year's impossibility, said someone. And Norman Vincent Peale said, Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss it, at least you will land among the stars. A wise man said, what is impossible? The impossible is what nobody can do until somebody does. Those who do not dare will not get their share. Those who do not go into the beehive will not get the honey. Every impossible situation properly viewed is an opportunity for great achievement 
or success. Thomas Edison said, Opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. When you see a door of opportunity, there is nothing wrong with turning the door's handle to see whether it will open. But a lot of heartache can follow if we break down a door that is locked. People have experienced hard knocks in life and learned bitter lessons when they have done this. So engineering your own success also places a burden on you to sustain that which you have created. If a door of opportunity is shut in your face, trust that another better suited one will be opened. God never closes one door without opening another. When God allows you to go through a door, it is he who keeps the door open as long as you continue to do your part diligently. You can rest in that partnership. Difficulties always present opportunities. So the next time you find yourself in the midst of a bad experience, remind yourself that you are on the cusp of an opportunity. So start hunting for it. Something will always turn up. And if nothing seems to show up, at least there will be an opportunity to change and grow. Problems, difficulties and challenges are the carriages in which opportunity rides. Problems and opportunities are not strange bedfellows. They are companions. Benjamin Franklin said, To succeed, jump as quickly at opportunities as you do at conclusions. And that is all for today. Until next time, keep on growing in wisdom and maturity. Blow the cap of your capability. Be unstoppable. Be awesome. I'm cheering you on.